What's going on guys? Welcome to the Bam, Bam, fellas! Welcome back to the episode of the 922 Fantasy Draft Franchise. I gotta sell a debate. Sandwich. We talk a lot about, like a lot, a lot, a lot, about burgers, stuff like that on the channel, but like, subs. I am, I'm just gonna say right now, I am a Quiznos person. Chicken carbonara is my favorite sandwich from any shop. I had Jersey Mike's once. I actually have a really funny story at Jersey Mike's at the New Jersey airport. My, like I was traveling from uh, where I lived, I was lived in Eastern Canada at the time, and my credit card company, and my debit card company, it was like an overnight flight and it was like a super quick and out. They got, they thought that someone had stolen my card when I went to go swipe it at Jersey Mike's. I had no cash. My phone was pretty well dead and the credit card companies were closed because it was like the right in the morning and I had literally no way to pay for my Jersey Mike sub. She was like, okay, write down this. She gave me like a piece of paper with her e-transfer or I might even have PayPal and she's like, pay me, I will pay later once you can actually like figure it out, once you get your phone, yada, yada, yada. So I did, I was able to leave, but that was my, that's my Jersey Mike's, but Jersey Mike's, I remember the little chips on the side were so incredibly good, but I've never felt more defeated than I'm like, I actually, I changed banks since that moment, because I was like, how are you gonna like just cancel my card just because I'm like literally, I just went across the border. But sometimes when you go, some people forget when you're from Canada, you go to the US, you're in a, you're in a new country, you need a passport, they, they, they start to think that something's crazy. Bam! Look on the screen. But my ass favorite stuff, the chicken carbonara, is absolutely amazing. This is a big game, guys. I've I've lost now two games in a row, which is not good. We had a great start to this season. I would say I don't necessarily know that we've cooled off. We've just had two games that we lost in the last little bit, and that to me is heartbreaking. But not to the point where I'm just like, okay, the season's like done. It's just like you know what? No, we're we're struggling. We're going through a bit of a rough patch, but I gotta bounce back. I gotta start closing out some of these close games because if I don't, we're gonna end up six and three and the whole world's gonna be laughing at us. Adafi Owe gets an upgrade. Gonna upgrade his speed rusher once again. He's an 80 overall. Had I went plus two finesse move, have, if I were to go power moves, I would he'd probably be upgraded a little bit faster. Match, Max Borgi gets a, oh shoot, I should have went elusive, dang. Elusive is what could have got me speed. He gets catch in traffic, but he's star dev, so. That's really, really good. Chris Clayburgs gets an upgrade. He's gonna go up to a 75 overall. Um, he gets plus two. He actually has had lots of picks. I'm surprised he didn't get any type of upgrade. With Cooper Cup, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go slot. Because some people always say, like, I, I never get speed upgrades. It'd be great to get, BAM, let's go. Okay, yo, I gotta start listening to the people. I gotta start, because everyone says slot is what gets speed upgrades. Boom, Cooper Cup gets a speed upgrade the one time that I do it. Um, going up against the Seahawks here, let's go see kind of what we are dealing with. Let's just see if we can get kind of an idea of how I need to be prepared. What Travis Kelsey, Trey Lance, let's dance. Slow receivers, but oh no, no, not slow receivers yet. Quez Watkins, Cameron Hayward, DBs, tall. Tall, wow, Isaac Taser, Taylor Stewart. That's a really, really good pick that he got. He's, he's a stud. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's dance. Throwing his lance on third down. Bagged. <laughs> the Dean of Admissions! Go, Trey Dean, let's go. That's box. Get that garbage out of here, please. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Wow, I'm gonna see if he knows about T. Higgins, because if he doesn't, I'm just gonna throw it up to him. Oh, he doesn't, I don't think he does. Whoa! K. T. Higgins, what? Begged. Let's go! Job! Come on! Bam, fellas! Holy schmoly defense! Teams, and these are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season that if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look forward to. Of course, I allow that. Their record through the first eight weeks. Now, Charles, what is your assessment? Go, Nick Chubb! Go, Nick Chubb! Okay, I'm gonna do my best here. I, I got to establish him a little bit. I feel like Nick Chubb. In this game, I'm gonna try my best to get him 15 carries. Um, we need a W. I just wanna see how he can do with a, a good sample size. 
I'm really upset about the T. Higgins play, but I'm not gonna. There's nothing. I can't really dwell too much on it. Here we go, Nick Chubb. 15 carries. Let's see what he can do. Go for a run, Nick Chubb. Come on, good run. Like I said, I gotta give him the ball more because I think one of the big things to anything, I need to get him human joystick. Um, I'm just gonna, he can't stop this run. His halfback power, he is just an absolute mess against. And look at this dude. Look at this guy. Good stuff, Nick Chubb. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Flushed out right. And finding Go, Austin. Austin. Good job, Hooper. My read here is the guy on Cooper Cup. If he follows. I know I got T. Higgins. Let's go, T. Higgins! It said that was my man read. I was just watching the guy on Cooper Cup. If he if he followed directly Cooper Cup, like if he actually trailed him, that was an automatic easy money read. Let's go, Simmons! I manned him up, bro. I manned him up. That's why Justin Simmons is on my team. That, my friends, is exactly why he's on my team. Great play right there. To throw on second and ten. Lance. He's got nothing, man. Lance looking to throw it. Box. Oh my god. You ever had like a game? Like I've played this guy before. This is the worst I've ever seen him play, and it's it's not even close. Like this. Oh no. Shoot, that's all right though. I really thought he was a man coverage. He fooled me. Good job. Okay, Joey B. We get ball at half too. Don't forget that we get ball. He's just he, he's brutal against the blitz right now. Do it, and I'm gonna have Higgins or Cup. One of those guys is gonna be open. A safety will move. Or Austin. Hope this is a man coverage, dude. For you. For your sake. For your sake. I hope it's not man coverage, because I'm throwing that. I'm snapping that ball and throwing it. I don't even care. Let's go, T. Higgins! Laser, good throw. Yo, Simmons might get a breakout. Simmons might just get a breakout. Oh my goodness. He's, he's got one read, man. It's Quez on that post. And if he's not open, it's a pick. What's going on? They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And it's incomplete. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's got it. Okay, we gotta run the ball. I'm not I'm not losing this game. Don't care. I, I can't lose it. Go Nick Chubb. Go Nick Chubb! Good run. It's a laser. Got him! Got him! Let's go! The house always wins. Thought you might you might get me on the first one, but the house will always win. Good stuff. This guy threw more interceptions. Okay, this was a disgusting game. I, I don't know, like, what happened to this guy. He just threw, I want to say that was 10 picks. We are going to, like, this could set the tone for our entire secondary breaking out. Like, it's big to get a, a win back, but, like, 
that could literally set the tone for our next big defensive breakout. Like, four for Simmons, two for Job, two for Tradine, one for Asante Samuel Jr. I think Simmons, with that game, could potentially get a breakout. Josh Job is a bronze. I need him to kind of get upgrade. I think he could get a breakout. Trey Dean could get a breakout. Like, it was unbelievable the amount of picks that he threw. That was like... There's bad games, and then there's like what we just saw. That was really, really, really bad. What team was he? He is the Seahawks. Let's go see. How many picks does he throw on this season? See right there. Before that game, he had 24 touchdowns and 7 interceptions. So, he used 24 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, average 277. He just threw 10 picks in a game with Trey Lance. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, who do we got? I think we got the Bears next week. I think they're a pretty solid team as well. Um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... We're going to get some good dev games coming up. I think there's a good chance that we do. Maybe the Bears aren't great. They're four and five. Uh, I think there's a chance we get some dev games because our secondary went crazy. So cross your fingers. We'll hope. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, bam, fellas. Welcome back. Holy schmoly. It's sunny in here today. It is like I have blinds coming really, really soon. But like as of right now, the sun is at a 10 out of 10 level. The last game that I played was one of the most disgusting. The guy said after because I talked to him after and he said that was the worst Madden game that he has ever played in his life. Like, to throw 10 interceptions, you almost, like, and especially in five-minute quarters, like, that's a ridiculous pace. Like, he was an interception. He technically threw an interception every two minutes of the game. And, and that's, if you take away defense, like, like, and that's including defensive time. So there was times when he was on defense where... That is included. So I would say for every minute that he had the ball on offense, he threw an interception. It was rough. I think, honestly, it's going to be so huge in a lot of ways for us down the road in terms of upgrades, stuff like that, because I think it's going to help us a ton. I think Justin Simmons could. Boom, bam, T. Higgins. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to upgrade his slot ability. I, I've heard through the grapevine that slot helps with speed upgrades, and if there's one thing T. Higgins needs is speed, awareness, plus one juke, uh, short row running. If I'm being honest, in the last few games, I would say T. Higgins has been a little bit less dominant. Like, he had, he started off getting some ridiculous anima animations. I need to chill with him because I've been a little bit, like, I've been trying really, really hard. Josh Job has been playing really, really, really good. Plus one acceleration. He's due for a break. And it would be awesome. The, the rookie from Alabama has been really, really, really good for us. Trey Dean, he's another one. Keeps getting interceptions. Continues to get better. He's star dev. Um, third round pick already uh, got upgraded with the breakout game. He's been a beast for us. And Joey the man Burrow, let's go. Okay. Uh, do I want to go scramble? Do I, I don't think he really needs speed. What do you guys think? I, I think strong arm is definitely what's like going to be the most beneficial for Joey Burrow. Awareness, throw accuracy deep, yada, yada, yada. Darius Leonard. Do you ever look at a fantasy team and just think, what is going on in their head? I, I, I guess the first pick was probably Justin Fields. If, like, I had to guess first pick, second pick was maybe Fletcher Cox. Like, I'm trying to figure out who his second selection would have been here. And I, I can't, that's a problem. When you can't find that, that is where the issue lies. Like, I honestly, I don't even know where, maybe Panay Sewell. I know he goes really, really early. He's got an interesting team. He's got a good defensive line. So I don't think it's going to be easy by any means. But ladies and gentlemen, we need wins. Let's go. Because I like saving like Nick Chubb. And this is more of a playoff thing. I probably don't need to worry about it as much. But I like saving Nick Chubb's energy for like first and second down. Like true running situations. Like I don't want him wasting his energy. Um, oh my gosh. He's so good. I don't want him wasting his energy on like. Where's that user going? Make the throw, make the throw, let's go. Get off field, good stuff. He's like upgraded so fast, he's been so freaking good. I'm just, I could not be happier. Let's see if Nick Chubb, go Nick Chubb. Cut off field, Nick Chubb. Human joystick, 100%. The biggest thing we need, we need that human joystick before the end of this season. Very, very, very good. And I don't know what his like future is. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use him for trades. Like I don't, I'm not certain. I think in an ideal world, if you guys are really asking, go Nick Chubb. Um, if I was able to get Max a breakout game and make him really, really good, you trade Nick Chubb for someone really good on defense and you start Max. Like, I feel like when you get a good draft pick, that's kind of the way you got to look at things. Good run, Nick. With Nick Chubb, not Max. Make sure that it is Nick Chubb running there. Because he can, like, he got contact there 
probably three yards downfield, and then he ended up getting a seven-yard gain. Like, he's uh, straight up, he's underutilized. I will own, he is very, very, very underutilized right now on this team, and that's 1,000% my fault. So, I gotta switch that. Like, already, he has a great, I bet I could break a rushing record with him in this game if I really wanted to. Good job, Nick Chubb. Okay, 7-0, we're playing smart today. We're playing smart, no more picks. Good play! Oh my gosh, Julian. His awareness is unbelievable. Okay, um, first third down here. Our defense has been playing out of their mind. First third down here, I'm going 100% man on man. I don't care about nothing. I don't care about you. I don't care about your family. Man coverage. Like, Justin better make a quick read here or else he is done. Good play. Not a good read by him. I suck. I suck. Here's Fields. And then I let the dude dot me up. Oh, okay. We gotta focus up. Dang. Now it's Burrow. There it is. There it is. Let's go, Higgins. Come on. Let's just get our confidence back here. Can't, can't give this guy any confidence. He's playing really deep zones. That's easy. He's got his zones back at like... And his zones can't change after a play, so I'm just going to go potentially to Max. It works for me. Ba bam Let's go. Okay. You'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. Yeah. Good throw. Good throw. You want to taunt me? You want to taunt me? Yeah. Your offense looks like this, and you're gonna taunt me. Let's dance. Okay. I'm. I gotta go for two. No, he didn't get it. Shoot. Chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important Yo, wow. Claybrooks just got torched. They run out of the gun with Swift. And they'll get him down as mm. he's the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that. Justin Simmons. Oh my goodness, Justin. He's taking three. Respect. He kinda I think he kinda took that like that whole situation, he was like, I'm just going to take a few yards, take three. But I think he missed it. Let's go! Yes, he did. Oh, okay, no matter what, we got to score here. There it is. There, that's, that's, that's the route that I like. That's the route that I like. Nice catch, Higgins. Maybe Curtis Samuel will just will be open. I think he is. Laser. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Bam! I get it. I guess that's why you play him in the passing game right there. Good run. This is an awkward situation. I will honestly, straight up, I'm gonna take three if I don't get this. I think. Got him. The the main reason that I would even consider it is uh, just because of the fact that I don't feel like he's moving the ball that well. To throw his fields. Eluding the pressure right. Oh my Brett. Second and ten. Fields again. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. The drive. We'll see, I guess. Off play action. Fields. Yeah, there it is. This is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 22. Jobs need. 
Like I said, I played man, 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 man. Switch to go a nice little cover two zone. I love it. I love it. Strange. Good job, Strange. There it is. Cooper Cup. Easy money. Trading the Dean of Admissions. Even though we sucked, honestly, our defense is playing out of their mind right now. So... If, if, we're, if we're thinking of the stuff that struggled in the playoffs, it was our defense. I am horrible throwing the football right now. Literally, T. Higgins has had a bunch of brutal games, but defensively, we've been on freaking point. Blackman, two picks. One pick with Booth. I don't even know what else to say. One with Sneed. I want to say maybe I got two with my user. No, I didn't get it. I got, I got one with Trey Dean, but Trey Dean also had three TFLs. He had a really, really, really good game. Overall, we're not playing well. I'll own it. I'll be the first to admit I'm not playing. I'm not seeing the field well in a, from a passing perspective. I feel like I'm missing way more reads than I usually do. Like, I don't know if I'm like, I'm slow on them. I'm just, I feel late on reads. I feel like I'm just like kind of going through the motions and it's not, it's just, it, it's not pretty at the moment. We're winning. But it's like super, super far from being pretty or even like remotely decent at this point. So that needs to change. Um, as far as MVP, T. Higgins is kind of in the conversation. He won't win it. Um, offensive player of the year, T. Higgins. Sitting there defensive. Wow, wow. Trey Dean is up for defensive player of the year. Oh my gosh. And look, wow. Wow, that should bring If you're not smiling right now, Look at this. Defensive rookies of the year and defensive players of the year. We are like, we're going crazy defensively. However, like it's our offense. Our, I need this offense to pick it up if we're going to win. But like six picks for Trey Dean, four TFLs. He's been really good. NFC defensive player of the year. Booth, really good. Job, five interceptions. Like all of our rookies are just like absolutely playing out of their mind which has been so helpful in like every single way. Like Justin Simmons, the secondary has been really good, which has saved a lot of the season. We got Paris Campbell next week. Um, later tonight, we're going up against Paris Campbell. We got that same like Washington, New York, Washington tour. Um, but we got Paris Campbell next week, which should be a good game. Look forward to that. He seems to be picking up his season. He's four and six now. Um, but overall, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Ladies and gentlemen, boom, bam, fellas, we are back. Week numero 12, and we've just been a mess this entire video. I, I don't even know, words can't describe it. I just feel like I'm playing pretty poorly, but I can't do that for this game. This is, we're going up against Paris Campbell, wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. The cool thing about him is he's got his receiver, like Paris Campbell has Paris Campbell. I don't even know what overall he's got. He's been doing better this season. Every, he's actually so funny. Every single time Paris can like every time he wins a game, I get like four text messages. He's just he loves these CFMs so much and he like he loves getting better at them because he he started off really like not very good. Now he's gotten better like every single time. And it's like it's so funny because he went to like OT and I get a text going into overtime and then he's like huge win against like it's cool cuz he started off I want to say like 0 4 and he's won like five straight games but it's time to break his heart. Like I, I, that, that hope that he has, like that little, like little bit of hope he has at four and six, my goal today is to absolutely crush it. I want Paris to never play Madden again. I do want him to play Madden again, but I would love to crush that hope and those dreams. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like that. Marcus Mariota is still his quarterback. Jonathan Taylor, he's got up to a 99 overall. C.D. Lamb, Paris Campbell, he has Superstar up to a, what is he? Oh, he needs to, oh no, that's, plus, that's with morale. Should text him to add another ability on him, his own player. He needs to. Yeah, he's, he's only got, I should, should I just add it for him? Should I be a nice, should I be a nice commish? Here, there you go, Paris. I, I gave you an ability, man. Don't say I didn't give it, but like he, he clearly hadn't added it. Um, other than that, defensive wise, he's pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna be doing a trade talks with TD after this game, so stick around if you guys are interested in trade talks with TD. I'm looking to make looking to make some deals, so we'll kind of see what comes up. As far as all of our awards, we're like, oh, we had a weekly award. Is it Job? 
Who would have gotten it? Blackman. See, I felt like he was really good. I felt like Julian, but I just don't know why he hasn't got a breakout. It's been driving me crazy. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's dance. This time, Burrow will look to throw. Where are you? Where's your user going, Paris? It was his user was in Paris. His user was literally in Paris, and we're playing in Philadelphia. That was how far his user was from the play. Boom, boom. See, he's he's trying to be smart. He's trying to he's trying to take away that stuff on the left. We're gonna go hurry up. This is this is a game that I need. To, I gotta get my offense clicking again, bro. Paris Campbell, Bobiama. Ah, flex on him, T. Higgins. Flex on him. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, he, he outside shaded. He messed up. Let's go, fellas. You can't mess with him. You know, Jonathan Taylor is an issue. I probably, realistically, yeah, I don't know. He's he's a major problem. But he's not the dean of admissions. Dang. See, and this is this is when I regret giving tips. I literally DM'd him and I was like, hey man, you got Jonathan Taylor. Stop. Like, you don't have to throw into triple coverage. Like, you have Jonathan Taylor. Just, just run the ball with him. And he looks like he's taking my advice. Oh, that was that was junior too. One thing I don't know if he's probably that used to seeing is just oh wow, it's a little bit. Press didn't get in that that play. I literally I sent eight. First down. Here's Burrow. There we go. Cooper. Cooper. Cop. Nice catch. I don't really know why that is, but. Let's die. What a laser. What a laser from Joey B. Good stuff. Here's Burl. His user was in Paris again. His user was on vacation. Probably at the Louvre right now. Let's see. Let's see where his user goes. From the red zone now, here's Burl first down. Flushed out. Where were you? In five years, they're gonna say, where were you? They're gonna say. I'm sending everyone here. If, if we don't get pressure, I quit. He's running red zone scissors. He's running, he, he's, he's got the scissors out, man. No way. No freaking way, good play. Clock, clock management wise right now, you run this ball, you take it down to six seconds. If you don't get it, I don't get the ball back. Smart, it was smart. Okay, we got 31 seconds. Oh gosh, I Burrow, the fumble from Burrow. Oh my goodness. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Oh, he'll let one go deep. Who are you, Xavier? Who are you? I've never heard of you, Xavier Howard. I've never heard of you. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he goes out right Well, I do personally know that it's lame. Yeah, come here, Marcus. Oh, he almost messed up. Okay, I'm about to cover zero. The problem is he's got so much speed. So, especially out of this, he's got, I don't know, I'm gonna scream. I feel like he should run this. If he doesn't run this, I, I like this is a running situation. Sneed, oh my goodness. The Dean, no, wow. No, no, wait, wait, wait. No! Let's go, Simmons! What did I say, though? I said he'd make a mistake. From midfield now, Burrow. 
Cooper Cup! Cooper Cup, get upfield. Oh my goodness. Freaking, like, drag here because he... Go up, T. Higgins! We love ya! We love you in Philly! Good job, T. Higgins. Okay, let's go score here. End this. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Flushed out right. Don't fumble, and he fumbled again. It would, thank, thankfully, it was not into the end zone. There we go, Joe. Good stuff. Where are you going? Where are you going, Paris? Ba bam Let's go, Adafe away. Where are you going, Paris? Good defense. He doesn't like it. He doesn't love it. I, I'm, I'm screaming at him. Late in game, you're going to have to make a read because I'm sending my entire team, bro. Like here, I got all these zones back here. I got a middle third. I'm just playing like four deep zones and my user, and I'm blitzing everybody else. No, sir. Okay, let's be smart. That should be GG's. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Come on, let's go. Good play. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. In this game, he's 95 speed and breaks all the tackles. You gotta force somebody. Oh, and the Dean of Admissions. That's actually huge, because if he wins Defense Player of the Year, I think he'll go up to a superstar. Good job, Trading. Thank you, Trading. He's trying to use her T Higgins. How cute. How cute. That's adorable. Do you guys see that? Aw, oh, he's he's out there. He's like, I'm he's like, I got my backpack on, I'm gonna use him. Throwing again on second and ten. Laser. Where you going, Marcus? Ba bam fellas! That, this is we're back. This is this is our brand of football. Joe Burrow, I was cold for a couple games. T. Higgins getting a 180. This is this is back to what we do. Like this is that that is the team. This is the squad. This is how we roll. There is a hundred percent. We've we've been so bad on defense. I want to I want to shop. I'm actually in trade talks with TD tonight. I'm shopping um, Cooper Cup again. I just I don't think Nick Bosa is the trade just because Bosa just. I don't know. I really like him. I, I would consider it, but I'm going to see because I, I, I mentioned to the league that I was doing the TD trade talks right now. And a lot of people were like, yo, is it Cup? Because a lot of Cup's very, very popular. The Browns says that he wants Cup and he's actually the football team. They're like, Browns wants Cup. Oh, I would do Cup for, let me see. Just before I even talk to him, let me just, let me off. I'm going to try and figure out a straight up trade for Cup. Oh gosh, I would maybe do Kenny Clark because I just, I think he's such a beast. We'll see though. Okay, trade talks with TD is about to start. I'll, I'll be here in a sec. Who, who are you not attached to on this team? Listen, I know you need some defense, right? Your D-line looking a little sus. I can help you with that, all right? I have Aaron Donald, I have Kenny Clark. One of them can move, and I can also put in maybe a replacement. Ooh, you need a, how bad, okay, you need receivers. Okay, you're speaking my language. Come on, let's get what, this deal done. What do, what, do you, what do you like about Kenny, Kenny Clark, I would say, just he's a, I, li I like Aaron Donald a lot. I don't think, I don't necessarily feel like I deserve Aaron Donald. Sure. I, but I do feel like, oh, I feel like Kenny Clark is young. Mm -hmm. He's a difference yeah. maker. I will, th is there anything that you need that I could throw in to get cup for Donald? Is there anything that I could throw in? I feel like I would need a replacement uh, on the D-line. A replacement D-lineman? Mm -hmm. Yep. Who do you, who do you like? Let me, let me, let me see real quick. Uh, I got Leonard Williams, 85 overall, 30, age 28. I got Leonard. I, I would I, I would give you 85 overall Leonard Williams back. I'd be, I'd be in on that. We can do that. 
Are you serious? Oh gosh, I wasn't expected to get this guy. Ah! It's, I think the reason where Donald doesn't have as much value is because he's 31 years old and it's, we're in year two, but it's freaking Aaron Donald. He would be noticeable there. T Hammer approved, Chargers approved, and so did T Sap. Holy snack pack! Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna call that guy, let him know we got a deal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, he played his game. He just sent over the trade Cooper Cup, Leonard Williams for Aaron freaking Donald. Let's go, man. Oh my gosh, this is probably the biggest trade I have ever done. I can't think of a bigger trade that I've ever really like went in done ability or less likely to increase. Like, I don't know if these are the best abilities for him. I, I don't, I can't tell you. You guys can let me know what you think's the best abilities for him. I think it's amazing to see him on this team. The reason I do this trade, and I, I, I can kind of sum this trade up in a few words. Um, two words. The reason I do this trade is 100% because of T. Higgins. We have our number one receiver. I don't, Cooper Cup year one was our guy. We have, but like we, we took a guy who we got in like round eight and we made him into the best receiver in the NFL. Now I can start throwing the ball to Curtis Samuel. If you look at like, when you say look up underutilized in the dictionary, it is Curtis Samuel. Like 995 and 423. He's too good and too young and too fast for me to not be throwing the ball to. And that's part of the reason I made the trade. He needs to be my second receiver. I, I need it to be T Higgins, Samuel, and then a couple of these guys joining in. But I did not need Cooper Cup. I feel like on the defensive side of the ball, Aaron Donald is gonna be able to create opportunities for us. He's gonna be really, really, really good. Adafi always got gonna have to change his number from, he he's his biggest fan, but Adafi, you gotta change your number, bro. You gotta change it. You're no longer 99. Either I'm taking 99 from him. I think I'm gonna make Adafi a cool number, like 10. I feel like 10's cool. Yeah, 10's sick. I like that. I like I like number 10 for OA. Um, and that way Aaron Dahl can get his number back. And hopefully, like even if it's not every play, I think he's gonna be a part of stops. I think he's gonna help create stops. He's a stud. He's a great player. He does so many things incredibly well. Um, I can use the fountain of youth on him just to make sure he doesn't like regress at all um, in the off season. But overall, probably the biggest trade I've ever done. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think. I'm very happy to have him on the team. I think it was a big time move and definitely I felt like we were overly stacked on offense. We're now a little bit chill. We're a little more spaced out. Our defense is young. We got good corners, good young corners in Booth. Josh Job, like we, we got players on this team. Justin Simmons is playing out of his mind, but okay. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys next video. Click the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're doing a huge favor and subscribe right now. Also, I have a second channel where I post NHL, MLB, NBA content. Link is down below. Go check that out. That would mean the world to me. Road to 200K on that channel. Thank you guys once again. My Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TBarrettYT. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.